everyone, welcome to Blues TV. I'm Darby Brown and today we're gonna get you caught up with Orange County's very own professional soccer team. We have a packed show for you today, so let's get it started with some highlights. And Robinson is shaped out wide. Nice header back to King, does well to bring it down. And a great switch to the far side as well. Good run from King. And King looking for that far post and it's pushed into the path of Robinson. What a save from Miranda. Miranda atoning for his own error. So Twitter the place to be. But this is a chance for the Blues. Ramirez has space and he takes full advantage. And against the run of play, the Orange County Blues take the lead in the 38th minute. Well, I did see the second touch, but it looked to me off a of switchback's FC's head, but nonetheless, corner kick here. A great touch on, flicked in! And the question is, was it J.J. Greer's goal or did King get a touch? It doesn't matter. The switchbacks are equal in the 50th minute against Arizona United. That will be taking place on the 23rd. Free header, Blues are back in front. The center back has stolen in and he's given the Blues the lead in the 57th minute. What a header by Britton, Britton Griffiths. He came through that six yard box unmarked. We had the perfect angle here. Upper 90, perfectly slotted place ball by Brenton Griffiths. Terrible ball back again. Ramirez looking to take advantage. Skips by one man and fires it in. Two goal cushion for the Blues. Two goals for Ramirez off of two mistakes from the switchbacks back line. And in the 80th minute, the Blues are up three to one. And Hunter gets it back. He's looking to play in the early cross, but this should be Miranda's ball. And as any good goalkeeper will do, will fall on it. And that will do it, the Orange County Blues not at their best, but three goals equals three points against a very strong Switchbacks FC side. Tulsa started the brighter of the two sides in the first two minutes. Since then, the Blues have overtaken, have had their chances, the Blues, but this one, the deepest that they've been able to get in, Slogger Lubin with a great save. Oh, and Kim puts his man on the ground. It opens up the space for Luca Borgos. You know he's always thinking about a Borgos. Gets it onto that favored right foot. Just over the crossbar. Slogger. Skips past his defender. Has Kim down the wing. Stabs it on for him. Kim working his way and looking for his third assist in as many games. And it was the right ball to Ramirez. But he was unable to direct his effort goalwards. And try and calm the situation down a bit. This one played in and headed into the net. Opening goal for the Tulsa Roughnecks. Great service from Deverin. And it's Bardsley, who else? Puts his former employers to the sword. And you can see what it means to him. A great job to save that ball, but Turner was there, read it well. And now Slogger looking to turn on the afterburners. Slogger flies past one, flies past another. Now looking to cut inside onto that favorite left foot, gets it back onto his right, looking for the near post. Almost picked out that upper near corner. Headed back into the midfield. Neatly bought down. And Ochoa gets onto it in some space. Suggs is working on him. Miller at the top of the box sets himself up. And this time it is a save. And it's a spectacular one from Miranda pushing it to safety. Blues will want to take this one quickly. And if you're Borgos, this is not one you're going to shoot. Probably hit about the first minute of stoppage time, so about three minutes left. As Griffiths is up. Seven players in the box for the Blues. Griffiths is there, and Griffiths gets the equalizer! And the offside flag is up. Push forward by Bell. The Tulsa Roughnecks have come into Orange County and they get their first win and first shutout in franchise history 
as the Orange County Blues drop crucial points at home. Some of the guys visited a couple local children's hospitals where they spent the day with several of the patients. A group of the guys visited Chalk Children's Hospital. The Blues have visited Chalk before and are planning to return again as they love spending time with the patients. A few other Blues players visited Miller Children's Hospital as well. Their soccer skills were tested in a whole new way and the competition was pretty intense. We would like to present to you OC Blues FIFA Edition. Hey, what's up? I'm Chris Cortez, this is Chino Santana. And this is the FIFA 15 challenge. I'm gonna win. Probably. <laughs> you're gonna go with Barca, huh? No, I'll be Arsenal. You're gonna Arsenal? Oh, I was gonna be Bayern Munich, so. If you're Bayern, I'll be Barca. All right, all right, here we go. We should have been the Champions League final. Mine, it was, we didn't have injuries. Uh, Messi watch. Right, here we go. <sighs> Hat trick Messi watch. Yeah, I'll go wait, I'll go wait. PK. Oh my god, <laughs> that's such a dive. No, it's a good game. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Mag. Uh. <laughs> oh man, Boateng still having a nightmare against Barca. Come on. Alright, like why are we building this up to these types of people? Good, Messi. Dude, that was so lucky. <laughs> The dead fish, yes. <laughs> I love that celebration, dude. It's so funny. Look at Neuer trying to be cool. Messi hat trick, bro. Offsides. Nope. Oh dude, my gosh, gosh, dude. Wow. That's, yeah. How was that not a foul? Oh. Banger right foot by Robin. This is not real life. This is fake. <laughs> this would never happen. Robin would not bang a ball right foot like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. I know I did that to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna hold circle and see what happens. <laughs> like Rob was like, this isn't real. Right foot? No oh, way. Look at that dude. At, like outside of the vent on that dude. Boom. Boom. No. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh. Wondowski wasn't reading it, dude. How? PK! Dude, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. How does that even happen? Look at this. He snags the ball. Look at it. Oh, okay. oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. There's no way. That's a rigged replay. Come on. Okay, he's nervous, dude. He's nervous. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi. Yes, Messi. No, no movement. He's gonna get a hat trick off PK as well. Dude. Nari literally stood there when I told him about it. He's like, I'm gonna dive. Nah, I don't feel like that. <laughs> I keep. Right here. This is all he had to do. Come on. I'm not going to score another right-footed banger by Robin, okay? <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Oh, what? what that? that was so awkward. What just happened? Oh, look at that. I did drop the time. Oh, oh, no. No, stop that, guys. Oh! Uh -oh. Yes. oh, no! I did one too many. I got him so good with the first one. And then I did an unnecessary 360. No way. No way. Oh, stop it. PK, there it is. <laughs> Gets one back. It's about time. It's justice. Jordy, you stupid. That's so it's awkward. I know. <laughs> yes. That was the worst, worst thing I've ever seen probably in FIFA. He like dodged the ball. How did that? 
It like hit off his face. <laughs> let's see it, let's see it, hold on. Look at this. It literally hit off his face and went in. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a glitch. It's called off the easy. It's ca I call that off the easy. What Look at that. <laughs> oh gosh, that was awesome. How about you? No. Got him foul. No! He's touched the ball! Best dead early really game. Don't work. Patrick. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I deflected. I was gonna say. Oh! Great save, no air. Same play. Oh my god. Hit that. Oh, step. Ooh. T, no way. Alright, tie game. Chino takes it in PKs. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time for FIFA Part 2 when I take on um, Chris Cortez again. See you guys. <laughs> cool. This week we sat down to go in-depth with veterans Josh Suggs and Mursad Momeni. Here's a little preview of their full profiles that we will be releasing soon. Definitely morning. Um, I love morning. Uh, and also like after about 9 o'clock I shut down so it's kind of hard to be around me after I get tired because I get really grumpy but um, I really love to wake up early in the morning and have coffee and just relax. Sometimes I'll wake up like three hours before training just so I can just hang out for two hours and not do anything. The fun is the funniest it's me. <laughs> the funniest the funniest one is me but after me. What I'm funny outside the field. In the field I'm serious. Uh, I want to work hard. But outside the field yeah, I'm the funniest. Best dress. Uh, I think for sure Denzel. Uh, even when we show up to training, he's like in this tracksuit. It's amazing. Um, yeah, for sure, Denzel. I love Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a healthy food. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm game that I eat pasta for carbohydrates because my body needs carbohydrates. I like Arsenal a lot, more like what, I mean obviously they play amazing soccer, but it's the fact that they don't have as much money as, or at least they don't have as much money poured into the club as like Man City or Chelsea, but they continue to be successful and they're really into scouting and bringing guys up to their youth system, I think that's, that's pretty cool, so I follow them. The Blues will face Seattle Sounders FC2 for the second time this season, this Saturday. We stopped by practice to hear what the players had to say about this upcoming match. Um, they're a good team. We were unfortunate with our result last time around. Um, but I think we're, we've worked really hard at training this week and we're prepared to come out with lots of energy and attack them. They just have a really good uh, team chemistry. Uh, you can see in their players, they're full of lots of energy. They are um, work extremely well together. They got pace in their team and speed and they work really hard with one another and they work hard for each other. It's a huge difference in the fact that we got our own home fans at our game. Um, it's a home game we like to see uh, Ant Eater Stadium as a fortress for us uh, playing home games and we make it really hard for teams to come in and play against us there. I think there's a lot of pressure for all the teams in the league to be doing really well, but especially for Sounders being first place where there, a lot of people are going to be coming for them and we are one of them. We want to wish the Blues good luck as they take on Seattle Sounders FC2 this Saturday at UCI's Anteater Stadium. For up-to-date information, be sure to follow the club's Twitter and Instagram at OCBluesFC. Thanks for watching Blues TV. We'll see you next time.